Hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Vicki here coming to you from Southeast Central Kansas. The Washroom Report. We have breaking developments. I want to give a shout out to our sister Roxanne. And now it's, it's just blowing up all over uh, social media. Okay. Um, hope you can hear me okay because I'm screaming. Okay. So you can. Uh, coming out of the Times of Israel. Tomorrow, Thursday, September 22nd, 2022. In UN address, Lapid to call for two state solution with the Palestinians. Yeah. Daniel 927, anyone? We're going home. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is such huge news. Also from the Jerusalem Post, Israel wants two-state solution to Palestinian conflict, Lapid, to tell the UN. The time of Jacob's trouble is here. You can say, well... You know, because they have November elections. November, I believe, 1st is supposed to be their elections in Israel. But it's not going to make a difference because he signs. And earlier in the chat, I mentioned that he had been signing some things. I don't know what that was about. Showed pictures of him meeting with King Abdullah Abdullah II of Jordan. Meeting with Erdogan of Turkey. Hello. Um, unprecedented, right? Now we're going to go over to the bluebird chirp chirp because <laughs> it's just uh, this photo came out. And this guy, he's an Arab, okay, uh, lives in Israel. Widespread criticism from the government and outside of Prime Minister Yair Lapid after his intention to announce in his speech tomorrow, Thursday the 22nd, from the UN podium that Israel will seek to reach a two-state solution with the Palestinians. Therefore, Lapid fulfilled the first condition for receiving the Ta'al and Hadash recommendation, which is some sort of Israel... Nobel Peace Prize or some something of that sort is what I'm thinking, okay? Meanwhile, in Russia, yeah, it's potentially believed, I could not see the video, but it's potentially believed that Russia dropped some thermite bombs um it looks like a bunch of stars falling from the sky. Um, which is very small, like bomb ammunitions um, that when they explode, uh, they release a flesh eating, like a radioactive chemical. Okay, so I'm not sure if that is the, the fact of that. Uh, it came out of the sun, out of the UK. Um, I couldn't get the video to play, but I did see photos. Okay. Um, when Vladimir Putin spoke earlier, he was demanding that some 1,000 
um, civilians, Russian civilians, be drafted. You know, it would be like a draft. They call it something else. Drafted into this war with Ukraine. The people are protesting in mass. At least 1,000 people have been arrested. Pictures. Here's one more. Yeah. Uh, then there was an explosion in the Lakish area. Israel police um, a short time ago in clarifying the circumstances of an explosion that apparently occurred in a parked vehicle in the city of uh, Kiryat Gat. No casualties were reported. Police said saboteurs were called to the scene to investigate the source of the explosion. This is Israel. Car bomb, terror. Then, this just came out 14 minutes ago. Around 10,000 people took to the streets of Brussels to protest rising food and gas prices. Coming out of Israel, yeah, this is just another picture from the riots going on in Russia. Okay. We will not die for Putin. That's what they're chanting. Okay. Miss Caroline Glick, journalist. Everyone listening to Yair Lapid at the UNGA should know the man talking in support of a Palestinian state is the head of a caretaker government. He lacks parliamentary support and will lose the election scheduled for November 1. In other words, he speaks for no one but himself. Uh... Former Prime Minister uh, Benjamin Netanyahu, okay, this is what he said, Lapid and company are furious about this video because he did a video uh, about Hezbollah, okay, listen. Because they know they are causing disaster for Israel, they are handing over our national resources to Hezbollah, Iran, and turning them into players in the Mediterranean basin. Lapid must quietly complete the move because if the public understands the magnitude of the event, he will not be able to carry it out. And Netanyahu shouts, so, of course, he is angry. You know, I don't speak, you know, Lebanese or Hebrew, but this video was what um, citizens of Israel I have a very worrying message for you. Okay, this is from, this is breaking. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
Wow, right? A lot can happen in just a little bit of time. Amen. Well, once, you know, he signs that at the UNGA, sure looks like Daniel 927 to me. Um, we're going home. We're going home. Um, I love you guys. Stand strong in the faith. Maranatha.